tacos or chicken sandwich plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. And then a Monkey Walker Jones. Jeep owners are an adventurous breed. And with spring here in the beach within reach, it's time for the spring sales event at Walker Jones Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. The lot is brimming with Jeep Wranglers, Sports, Saharas, and Rubicon, two-door and four, in every color under the sun. And with more on the way, Walker Jones is blowing out Jeeps at incredible prices. Jeep practically invented the SUV. And right now, we're talking Jeep people's favorite models, stacked up deep and priced to move. But you must hurry. It's Jeep season and the spring sales event can last long. Start your adventure today. Hey, this is Tommy Wagner. Come on down and see us at Walker Jones Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, home of the lifetime warranty. I said lifetime. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details and April 30th, 2019. Walker Jones. Walker Jones. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Great products. Low prices. Helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa DeMar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Night. Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. Brunswick, Georgia, and all surrounding areas. Greater Works Ministries presents the 2019 Incredible Faith Conference with Bishop T.D. Jakes. Figuring out that, that I could fly in this dimension where I crawled in that dimension. And Grammy, Stellar, and Dove Award winner, Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Live! Live! Join your host, Pastor Mark Baker. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. May 23rd at the Jekyll Island Convention Center, beginning at 7 p.m. It's free and open to the public. Get ready, May 24th, it's Making the Ground with Bishop T.D. Jakes, beginning at 9 a.m. Space is limited, so register at greaterworksfamily.com. Grab your family and friends and join Greater Works Ministries for the incredible faith conference with Bishop T.D. Jakes, May 23rd and May 24. This is one conference you don't want to miss. This is Sherlock Bally. We are entering into one of the most prophetic moments. Dr. Sherlock Bally, international evangelist in revival at House of Worship and Ministries on the Lanes Bridge Road. Sunday, April 28th, 1030 and 6. Monday, the 29th and Tuesday, the 30th at 7 p.m. Don't miss Dr. Sherlock Bally, international evangelist in revival at House of Worship on the Lanes Bridge Road. For more information, 530-8758, 530-8758. Dr. Sherlock Bally, April 28th through the 30th at House of Worship and Ministries on the Lanes Bridge Road. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a little list in local news. In the news on Thursday afternoon, the Chamber of Commerce showed its post legislative luncheon at the Pine Forest Country Club. Low turnout for the event on hand are state representatives, including our newest member, Stephen Meeks, who attended his first legislative session in Atlanta. Had a chance to ask Representative Meeks for his thoughts on how he felt the session went. Well, I think it was a great session this year for the first one to, to go up and uh, really get to build some relationships in, in Atlanta that we didn't have previously to being elected and and uh, to be able to work with those relationships to address the issues that are important to this community and to Wayne County. And uh, But I think we had a great, a great session. We had a, a lot of good issues we dealt with. Uh, particularly with education and being able to work out a teacher pay raise of $5,000 uh, to uh, well, 3000 of the 5000 the governor committed to without a uh, uh, kick in July the 1st. So uh, with that and some other issues we worked through, I think it was a great session. It was a great first session, and I appreciate the opportunity to be there. A couple of controversial issues. Again, you got to see a lot of things that the first time <laughs> the representative doesn't get to see on a daily basis. So your thoughts on all that circus? Well, that... Uh, 
a couple of very divis- uh, divisive issues uh, that we had, and uh, it, it lets you know where people stand real quickly on some issues and how you have to work with them and try to uh, work through those issues. But uh, we did get to see uh, it from a different perspective this year. I just hope that at the end of the day that Georgia, uh, as a legislature, is not moving in the direction of Washington, D.C., where we can continue to work together to get things done for the great of Georgia. Anything left on the table that you're itching to get back there to see passed next year? There's a couple of things that we had. I was disappointed we didn't get moved. That we uh, worked very closely with Chair, uh, Chairwoman Lynn Smith on a couple of co-ash bills that we didn't get moved. Uh, I was able to work with her to get one of them out of committee, uh, but we didn't get them across the floor before the deadline. So a couple, uh, a couple of things that, uh, regarding that that we're looking forward to, to getting back and continuing those conversations. Why do you think there's so much resistance against that? I think it's uh, a, a, a bigger dynamic that we haven't seen down here of folks that are involved in the different ideas of how to do it. And, uh, and, and I think this one got caught up in some political gamesmanship uh, that I was able to work through, uh, at least at a committee level. We, I didn't get it across the floor yet. But um, sometimes they get caught up in those uh, those gamesmanships and uh, just didn't get, uh, didn't get the attention. Speaking of committees, you always try to get on committees that are interested to you. So what committees are you serving on now? I started on agriculture and uh, energy utilities and telecommunications, which has been a really interesting one. That one has uh, has seen a, a uh, great deal of diversity in the issues from broadband to issues that members are uh, writing legislation to try to address specifically to one area. Um, and when you're trying to address issue in one community and you're writing a statewide bill, it begins to give a lot of people heartburn. Um, so from, from that perspective, it was really interesting uh, being on that committee and hearing the debates on those and learning about some of those issues. Uh, the other committee I'm uh, fortunate to serve on is uh, Intergovernmental Relations, uh, which uh, more or less handles local legislation for communities. I uh, had a local uh, issue down in uh, Brantley County that I worked with those guys on to address. So that's what that committee does. We don't meet a great deal on that committee. A lot of that's handled at the, at the chair level and the staff level. Uh, but nothing controversial has come through uh, that committee yet. But energy and utilities um, was really interesting. Of course, I also serve on agriculture, and uh, we had some great bills to come through there. Some didn't make it across, and uh, we'll get back and uh, continue to work with those and uh, see what we can do to improve them. Okay, Stephen, I was good to see you. Well, great to see you, and thank you for the opportunity to do Mondays with Mix. I enjoyed the Mondays. That's one of the things I look forward to. I always felt like I was rushed uh, to to, um, to get on to meetings afterwards, but thank you for the opportunity to you and your listeners, and thank you for what you do for our community, and, and go Jackets. And those comments, State Representative Stephen Meeks. Also, on hand with State Senator Blake Tillery and State Representative Bill Workheiser. We'll hear from them next week on our local newscast. A variety of topics covered, including the budget, the medical marijuana bill, dual enrollment, to name just a few. Brian Griffith served as moderator of the city of Scriven, was the main sponsor. Event sponsor, City of Joseph and Bennett and Lindsay, attorneys at law, and the Angel Chamber of Commerce post legislative luncheon held Thursday at the Pine Forest Country Club. Before the session and during the session, a lot of talk about broadband. And today, Governor Brian Kemp has set to sign a series of bills designed to expand Internet access to rural areas that now lack fast online services. Governor will ink the broadband measures today at a signing ceremony in Dahlonega, Georgia, part of a stretch of mountainous North Georgia territory where residents have long complained about spotty service. Measures aimed to bring more competition to residents with few options. One proposal, Senate Bill 2, will allow electric membership corporations to sell Internet service along with power. And Senate Bill 17 lets telephone cooperatives to offer Internet services. The third measure, Senate Bill 66, allows telecom firms to set up 5G technology equipment on public land. That proposal, however, will primarily benefit large cities. They are likely to receive faster cell phone and internet service long before rural areas. While rural Georgia leaders have welcomed the new broadband laws, they fell short of initial goal of securing significant new state dollars to subsidize the internet service in rural parts of the state without adequate technical infrastructure. Lawmakers took about $2 million into this year's budget proposal. For rural internet funding, some estimates projected it will cost well over a billion dollars to rewire the entire state. One idea was to raise money, was to impose a sales tax on streaming services, but that was blocked by the legislature amid opposition from fiscal conservatives who saw it as an unnecessary hike. Others gained little traction, failing to win over Kemp and other GOP leaders. About 16% of Georgians lack access to high-speed internet service, and stores with school children having to go to fast food restaurants to go online to complete their homework continue to be told around the Capitol. At a small business event Thursday, the governor says he'll press for a broader expansion next year, but did not say how he could accomplish it. Kim says the state has moved the needle on broadband access in rural Georgia. He admits there's a lot more to do, but he says today's measures begin a great step 
in the right direction. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is our name. Saving you money is our game. It's truck month at Neesmith and Jessup, and we've got them stacked up, jacked up, and ready to roll. People keep asking, Lee, how much can you cut the price of a new truck? As much as it takes to beat any other deal. Ain't that right, Spanky? You're 100% right, Lee, because when they bring us a deal from somewhere else, Neesmith Chevrolet will beat it. Look at him. Here at Neesmith, we're all about saving you money. After we beat their deal, you know what's next. We're going to trim it a little more. So what you waiting on? Skin it back and get on in here to Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC and Jessup, home of the No Hassle Deal. With our great selection, huge discounts from remaining 2018s and 0% financing for up to 72 months on select models, there's never been a better time to buy than right now at Neesmith and Jessup. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, Highway 341 and Jessup. We are professional grade. Advanced Healthcare Center on South 1st Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same-day appointments, and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South 1st Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years, Feel better today. Just a police department and Chief Mike Lane announcing several drug arrests. Both incidents occurred on April 24th. The first incident began as a 911 call regarding an alleged road rage incident. Members of the Just a Police Department's aggressive criminal enforcement team, known as ACE Team, intercepted the vehicle on Cowboy Road following a roadside investigation. K-9 Yale was deployed and gave a positive alert on the suspect's vehicle, a blue Ford Mustang driven by 30-year-old Marvin Bradford of Jessup. Search of the vehicle revealed 27 doses of ecstasy, also known as MDMA, and a quantity of Molly powered form of MDMA. Bradford was arrested without incident and charged with possession of ecstasy with the intent to distribute it. Later that evening, the ACE team member stopped a white color Honda Accord on East Cherry Street for a traffic offense. H team members obtained probable cause to search the vehicle. Quantity of cocaine and marijuana, along with a large quantity of packaging materials, was found inside the vehicle on the driver's person. The driver, 49 year old Victor Jackson of Jessup, was charged with possession of cocaine with the intent to distribute and possession of marijuana less than an ounce. And Chief Lane encourages anyone with information regarding criminal activity to contact the Jessup Police Department at 427 1300. District Attorney Jackie Johnson announcing the conviction and sentencing of 19 year old. Aronde Dontel Williams for one kind of aggravated assault, one kind of possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime. In May of 2018, Williams was in the car with several individuals, including Quentin Ponder. At some point, there was an altercation, and Williams exited the vehicle, walked to the rear door of the vehicle, opened it, and shot Ponder multiple times. Ponder was struck twice, and as a result, is now a quadriplegic. On Wednesday, April 24th, Williams entered a plea of guilty. Superior Court Judge Anthony Harrison accepted Williams' plea of guilty, sentenced him to a term of 25 years with the first 20 to be served in prison, the balance to be served on probation. Ponder's mother was present at the sentencing and conveyed to Williams that she forgave him, and she just wanted to find peace and move on for her family and her son. And the case was prosecuted by Assistant DA Robert German. District Attorney wants to thank Detective Michael Griffin and the Kingsland Police Department for the investigation. Earth Echo International, a leading nonprofit organization dedicated to equipping youth with resources to act now for a sustainable future, has selected the Wayne County High School's Henry Kelly as one of 20 young environmental leaders from across the United States who will help tackle the global water crisis starting in their local communities. As part of the Earth Echo Water Challenge Ambassadors Initiative, Henry will increase the knowledge of local water resources throughout the Wayne County by monitoring local water quality and engaging their peers in water quality monitoring and conservation events. The Water Challenge Ambassadors, part of the Earth Echo Water Challenge, an annual program that equips individuals, schools, businesses, and organizations 
make their communities healthier and more sustainable through the simple actions of testing water quality locally, sharing data internationally, and taking action to protect water resources. The Earth Echo International founder, Philip Cousteau, says young leaders like Henry Kelly are instrumental in continuing the global effort to preserve our planet's most precious resource for generations to come. He says we're excited to add his passion and vision to this group of young environmental champions who are working within their communities to help increase understanding of the importance of local water waterways and inspiring others to join in taking action to protect them. Henry states he believes that this program will be beneficial to all participants. Gathering and resources and recording of water data will increase knowledge in our community, help us to better understand what we can do to keep the community's water and wildlife healthy. We'll come back with some final news notes, several events taking place on Saturday. We'll tell you about that right after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Smith Chevrolet Buick GMC is our name. Saving you money is our game. It's Truck Month at Neesmith and Jessup, and we've got them stacked up, jacked up, and ready to roll. People keep asking, Lee, how much can you cut the price of a new truck? As much as it takes to beat any other deal. Ain't that right, Spanky? You're 100% right, Lee, because when they bring us a deal from somewhere else, Neesmith Chevrolet will beat it. Look at him. Here at Neesmith, we're all about saving you money. After we beat their deal, you know what's next. We're going to trim it a little more. So what you waiting on? Skin it back and get on in here to Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Jessup. Home of the No Hassle Deal. With our great selection, huge discounts from remaining 2018s and 0% financing for up to 72 months on select models. There's never been a better time to buy than right now at Neesmith and Jessup. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC. Highway 341 in Jessup. We are professional grade. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher installation values, thermal pane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Faye, or Sheridan today. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce would like to invite the community to attend the 2019 Farm and Ag Tour on Tuesday, April 30th from 8.30 until 3. This five-stop bus tour will provide an insight to some of our local agribusinesses and how important it is to our community. Space is limited, so call today to register 912-427-2028. This event is free for chamber members and just $10 for guests. Register today for the 2019 Farm and Ag Tour on Tuesday, April 30th from 8.30 until 3. 912-427-2028. Final notes in the news, several events taking place this Saturday. It's set up to be a beautiful day tomorrow on the river. Wayne County Board of Tourism is still accepting registrations today for the Altamar River Run. It will begin tomorrow morning at 8.30. Paddlers have a choice of an 11- or 16-mile paddle with 11-mile taking out at Oglethorpe Pig Farm Landing and a 16-mile taking out at J.C. Landing. A shuttle will pick up paddlers and take the... A shuttle will pick up paddlers at the takeout points to travel to the starting point at Upper County Landing. Paddlers should drop their canoes and kayaks off at Upper County Landing no later than 7.30 tomorrow if the takeout point is J.C. Landing. If the takeout point is Pig Farm Landing, drop-off should be no later than 7.45. Shuttle from J.C. Landing will leave at 7.45 a.m. to travel to Oglethorpe Pig Farm Landing. Shuttle will then load and travel on to Upper County Landing. There will be only one shuttle operating. If you're renting your canoe or kayak from the outfitter, you need to go straight to your takeout point to catch the shuttle. Forecast tomorrow calls for temperatures in the low 80s, the perfect temperature for morning on the river. Plan ahead to catch the shuttle back to Upper County and bring your lunch sunscreen and your favorite river hat and come paddle with tomorrow at the Altamaw River, Saturday, April 27th, the Altamaw River Run. Also, tomorrow evening, the Wayne County Farmers Market hosting their fundraising event entitled Barbecue and Blues, set for tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Farmer's Market. Tickets on sale. Simply call 912-424-9026. Tickets $25 for adults and $15 for children 12 and under. Entertained that evening by Jeff Chandler. And that's tomorrow night between 6 and 8 p.m. Barbecue and Blues at the Wayne County Farmer's Market. Also, tomorrow in downtown Jessup, the Ultima Classic Cruisers having their car show gets underway from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. They'll have music, gun raffle, 50-50 drawing, door prizes all taking place tomorrow in downtown Jessup, the Altima Classic Cruisers Car Show. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports come join in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO.
Way Memorial Hospital salutes its dozens of volunteers as we close out the month of April, National Volunteer Month. The hospital volunteers just gave 14,550 hours of their valuable time this past year at our facility. According to an independent sector, these hours tally more than 370,000 donated in labor. When added to the volunteers, 27,000 cash donation to the new cancer center, their contribution this year to the hospital is $397,000. We're proud of every volunteer that greets you at the front desk, gift shop, or thrift store, or those that transport patients, lab samples for the cancer center, help families in the ICU or surgery waiting area, or the work behind the scenes in the office. This is Doc Coleman, president of the Volunteer Board. Please join me in recognizing this special group during the National Volunteer Month. And if you'd like to join our team as a volunteer, we'd love to visit with you. Wayne Memorial Hospital, caring for the community. The spring sales event at Woody Folsom Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is upon us. Better get the back and nail a 19 Ram 1500 GT. Most awarded light duty truck in America and Motor Trends Truck of the Year. Up to 13000 off MSRP. Plus, you get a free lifetime powertrain warranty. Or choose the 19 Classic Ram DS Bighorn Crew Cab. Up to 35% off MSRP. Powered by Hemi. Priced by Woody. See Mike B or any of the Ram team for an 18 Ram heavy duty pickup. Up to 16% off MSRP. Over 600 vehicles in stock, ready to take you home happy. We're doing Dodge Journey SUVs. Seat 7 at up to 7,000 off sticker. Add some attitude with room to roll. Get that free lifetime powertrain warranty and make your mom and them proud. 19 Ram 1500 DT. Most awarded light duty truck in America. Up to 13,000 off MSRP. Don't tell me. Better get to back sleep and Woody Folsom Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Some restrictions apply. See the different details. Where Rams cost less. Cruising to the Old East Car Show, sponsored by r r Camper Sales. Saturday, April 27th, 9 until 2 in downtown Jessup. There'll be music, a gun raffle, 50-50 drawing, and door prizes. Registration fee $25 from 9 until 11. And the Cruising to the Old East Car Show benefits Wayne County 4-H Hospice and Fairhaven. You can win a Remington 700 bolt-action rifle or a Yeti 60-quart cooler. Don't miss Cruising to the Old East Car Show, sponsored by r r Camper Sales. Saturday, April 27th from 9 until 2 in downtown Jessup. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Hi, good morning, happy weekend. Partly sunny early, still a 30% chance of showers, slight chance of thunderstorms. Later, windy. We have a wind advisory. Sunny skies, west winds becoming northwesterly, 20 to 25, highs in the upper 70s. Clear, still windy, low 50s for tonight. Tomorrow, sunny, upper 70s. Sunday, sunshine, highs, low 80s. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. Here's your menu in the Wake County School System for Friday, April 26th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, sausage, biscuit, and hash browns. Elementary and middle school lunch, sub sandwich with baked chips. High school, tacos or chicken sandwich plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. W-I-F-O-F-M, Big Dog Country. It's time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you this morning by Barge and Power Sports. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. Birthday wishes going out to Royal Westbury on Sunday. Royal Westbury Sunday from your sister Eunice. Happy birthday to Royal Westbury from your sister Eunice on Sunday. Birthday wishes today going out to Arthur... I'm sorry, that's yesterday. Let's go to the 26th. Mary Crosby. Mary Crosby celebrating. Judy Cowan. Judy Cowan celebrating. Patsy Robertson. Patsy Robertson. Happy birthday on Sunday. Leah Brockington. Leah Brockington. Shanna Evers celebrating. Shanna Evers. And Ernest Flowers. Ernest Flowers on Sunday. Happy birthday from the Robin Eubank State Farm Gang. Ryan Madry is celebrating today. Happy birthday to Ryan Madry. Happy birthday, Ryan. Love Bo, Mariah, Branson, and Pax. Wishing Ryan Madry happy birthday, Ryan Madry, today. 
Big Dog Birthday Book. Got a lot of them today in the book. Let's see. Braden Thomas, one-year-old from Mimi, Papa, and Emily. Happy first birthday, Braden Thomas. Braden Thomas is one. Dalton Daniels, 19, from Mom and Michaela. We love you very much, Mom and Michaela. Wishing Dalton Daniels happy 19th birthday, Dalton Daniels, today. Logan O'Neill also celebrating. Logan O'Neill from family and friends. Logan O'Neill, happy birthday, Logan O'Neill. Then on Sunday, happy birthday, Levi, from Mom and Dad. Levi from Mom and Dad. Let's uh, see if we can figure out who Levi is. Maybe there'll be a text with the last name on that. Happy birthday to Ryan Madry from Laura Kate, Hunter and Julie for Ryan Madry. Ryan Madry from Laura Kate, Hunter and Julie. We love you. Ryan Madry celebrating. 912-427-3711. Uh, birthdays, anniversaries via text this morning on the Big Dog WIFOFM. Where did uh, the text go? The, the spirit. Hang on. Happy birthday. We did Ryan Madry. Kaylee Newsom celebrating tomorrow, nine years old. Kaylee Newsom, we love you. Dance up a storm at your competition tomorrow for Mimi and Papa for Kaylee Newsom. Also wishes for Kaylee Newsom from Daddy, Mimi, Papa, Aggie, and Uncle B for Kaylee Newsom. Please wish Kaylee Arnold a happy 14th birthday on Saturday from Daddy, Mama, and KB. We love you lots. Kaylee Arnold, 14 tomorrow. Kaylee Arnold. Happy night! Happy 80th birthday! Happy birthday to Mike Lloyd. Mike Lloyd, 80 from Grant, Tammy, Kyle, Leah, Lincoln, and Stella. Wishing Mike Lloyd happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Debbie. Love Charlie and Court for Aunt Debbie. Love Charlie and Court. Happy birthday to my sister in love, Debbie Moxley. Love Sissy for Debbie Moxley. Debbie Moxley. Happy birthday, Aunt Rara from Court and Charlie. We love you, Aunt Rara from Court and Charlie. This morning. On Saturday, happy, happy 14th birthday to Kaylee Arnold. You're the best granddaughter ever. We love you, G-Daddy and G-Ma, for Kaylee Arnold, who will be 14 tomorrow. Kaylee Arnold. All right, more wishes for Ryan Madry. Ryan Madry, love Erica and Charlie. Ryan Madry from Erica and Charlie. So you've got time to shoot one in via text right now at 912-427-3711. Birthdays and anniversaries on the Big Dog is always brought to you by Bartram Power Sports. Let's see. Do we do Long County Calendar? No, I forgot to do that. Good thing I did due diligence there. On Saturday, happy birthday, Kathy Simmons. Kathy Simmons, Saturday, in memory of Catherine Baxter, in memory of Catherine Baxter, Lee Milton celebrating. Happy birthday, Lee Milton and Della Horn, Della Horn. Sunday, Stephen and Jana Stafford. Happy anniversary, Stephen and Jana Stafford. And why didn't I start with Friday? Happy birthday, Linda Hutchison. Linda Hutchison today. And then happy anniversary, Mike and Kelly Patrick. Mike and Kelly Patrick, happy anniversary. That is the Long County calendar. All right, last call for birthdays and anniversaries here at the Big Dog WIFO via text at 912-427-3711. We'll come back with your Big Dog Country Birthday Cake winner on FM 105.5. We'll do that right after this for Barge of Power Sports. Happy 15th birthday, Kayla Price. Kayla Price from Mom, Dad, Allie, and Jada the Queen. For Kayla Price, 15. Back with your Big Dog Country birthday cake winner right after this. Bargeworth Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargeworth Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargeworth has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Bargeworth Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bartram Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. And your big dog country birthday cake winners on this Friday morning, a pair of nine-year-olds. Happy ninth birthday to Levi, and also Kaylee Newsom celebrating big dog country birthday cake winners from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. That certificate's here at the station. You come out, you pick that up. It's good for today only. Head to the pig and claim your prize. Bartram Power Sports, Brunswick, Jessup Online. Brings you birthdays, anniversaries. Levi is nine, and so is Kaylee Newsom here on the Big Dog WIFO FM. Thanks for waking up with FM 105.5 WIFO. 740, 20 minutes until on this Friday morning, 26th day of April. We'll get a check in on state news from GNN, a look at your weather forecast, Bible to local sports, and so much more on a Friday morning with the Big Dog WIFO FM. Kaylee Newsom, nine, and a Levi, also nine years old. Winners from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery.
Here's your menu in the Wade County School System for Friday, April 26th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, sausage, biscuit, and hash browns. Elementary and middle school lunch, sub sandwich with baked chips. High school tacos or chicken sandwich plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. 741 here at the Big Dog WIFOFM. It's Friday! Thanks for waking up with FM 105.5 WIFO 26th day of April. Let's get a look at that weekend forecast shaping up to be really nice in South Georgia. That forecast brought to you by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. In 1907, First Southern Bank opened its doors as a small community bank. 111 years later, we haven't forgotten our roots. Small businesses are a vital part of our community, and we help them succeed every day with a variety of lending options and flexible loan terms tailored to their specific needs. At First Southern Bank, our priority is your success. Visit us today in Waycross, Patterson, or Jessup to meet with a loan officer and learn more. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi, good morning, happy weekend. Partly sunny early, still a 30% chance of showers, slight chance of thunderstorms. Later, windy. We have a wind advisory. Sunny skies, west winds becoming northwesterly, 20 to 25, highs in the upper 70s. Clear, still windy, low 50s for tonight. Tomorrow, sunny, upper 70s. Sunday, sunshine, highs, low 80s. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. River level steady, more or less steady at 9.1 feet, Altamaha River level. We've got a low tide in less than an hour at 8.30, high this afternoon, 2.31, 5.7 feet. Low again tonight, 8.33, sunset at 8.04. Temperature's not bad out there. We are in the mid-60s. Double sickles, 6.6 six, six, here at the Big Dog WIFO. GNN Weather Center forecast on WIFO brought to you this morning by First Southern Bank. Investing in you since 1907. At 743, good morning from the Big Dog WIFO FM. Let's check in with state news from GNN on FM 105.5. Brought to you by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. Let's groove. Let's face it. Having an accident is no fun. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass is committed to taking the stress out of the repair process. We've been serving Wayne County for over 20 years and know that our customers come first. Let's groove. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass, located at 586 Southwest Broad Street in Jessup, 912-588-9922. From the Georgia 811 Call Before You Dig News Center, I'm Rob Stadler with the Georgia News Network. News from the measles front here in Georgia. We just documented three new measles cases here in Georgia, which brings our total number of measles cases for the year to six. Dr. Sherry Drenzik is an epidemiologist with the State Department of Public Health. She says the newest three are all members of one Metro Atlanta family who were not vaccinated. This year, some 700 people in 22 states have come down with the disease that was once eradicated back in 2000. DeKalb County police are looking for the person who fired shots into a school playground yesterday. Ten elementary students at Winbrook Traditional Theme School in Stone Mountain were struck by BBs or pellets while playing outside after lunch. Officers searched the woods nearby but couldn't locate a suspect. The children were treated at the hospital and are expected to recover. Former candidate for Georgia Governor Stacey Abrams has backed out of a California speech to support labor organizers there. GNN's Mark Wolsey has more. Abrams was set to speak at a May 20th commencement ceremony at the University of California, Berkeley, but her spokesman told the AJC that's been canceled. Seth Bringman says she wants to support a local union chapter of research and technical workers there. The local recently filed an unfair labor practice charge against the University of California system, claiming it Administrators tried to intimidate workers who struck in protest of income inequality. Abrams got substantial union support during her 2018 campaign for governor. I'm Mark Woolsey, GNN News. Plane crash in East Georgia. The single engine craft went down near Elberton just off Brewers Ridge Road Thursday afternoon. The 82 year old pilot was taken to Piedmont Athens Regional Medical Center with minor injuries. Nobody else was on board. With continuing news updates, I'm Rob Stadler on the Georgia News. Network. 
When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Matthew six nineteen, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, but where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Brought to you by the Odom Baptist Church. Got ticks? Well, we hope not. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. We are the Associate Veterinarians at Wolf Animal Hospital. As the cool air rolls in, we are noticing the ticks are too. Let us help guard your pets against tick-borne disease this year. Come see us at our main branch, Wolf Animal Hospital, at 755 West Cherry Street. And now we can serve you from our new mobile veterinary clinic in select locations throughout Appling, Brantley, Long, and Wayne Counties. The mobile service will provide preventive medicine and outpatient procedures on site. For more information, contact Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. And we are ready to serve you and your four-legged family members at our main hospital or one of our satellite locations. Contact us at Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. 912-427-3212. Good morning from the Big Dog, WIFO at 748 on this Friday morning, 26th day of April. Let's uh, zoom in on the Sportscape webcam this morning, see what Bob Morgan is up to. He's just sitting there like a rock. Sports is coming up next on the Big Dog WIFO, but right now time for the Family Minute with Mark Merrill. That's brought to you by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Harris and the staff of Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best this season. Dr. Jeffrey Harris offers comprehensive care for women in Jessup, Wayne County, and the neighboring areas. He is board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, and family practice. Dr. Harris offers health care to women in any stage of life. Call them at 530-7301. That's 530-7301. Go Jackets! Why is home the hardest place to lead? I'm Mark Merrill with today's Family Minute. It's tough to lead at the office. You have constant HR headaches, cash flow issues, and operational problems, just to name a few. But it's a lot tougher to lead at home. Why? First, you can't fire your children. You're a parent forever, no matter what your children say or do. Second, there is no paid or unpaid time off. You are always on the job, 24-7, doing their laundry, helping with homework, carpooling them to school, practice, and games. Third, there are no salaries, bonuses, or raises. As a parent, you are more like a constant ATM. Remember, your family first. For more resources on today's topic, go to markmerrill.com. The Family Minute with Mark Merrill. Helping families love well. This is the week where we salute all secretaries and administrative professionals. The following businesses, individuals, and organizations would like to salute their secretaries and administrative professionals. Altamaha Federal Credit Union salutes Cynthia Arnett, Kay Askey, Rita Bennett, Madison Christian, Brittany Crawford, Kenneth Davis, Melissa Dumas, Jennifer Gravely, Lori Moore, Rachel Moore, Katie Pritchett, Gail Pye, Dana Rigdon, Erica Scott, Sharon Sellers, Micah Silver, Ashley Sweet, and Annie Vickers.
Seasons change. Quality of service does it. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. It's the sale you wait for all year long now in the spring. Don't miss spring Black Friday at your Sears hometown store in Jessup. Now through May 4th, take up to 25% off power lawn and garden equipment. It's also Husqvarna days. Take an extra $100 off Husqvarna riding mowers. That's right. You can save an additional $100 off the sale price on any Husqvarna tractor. Come shop your locally owned and operated Sears hometown store in Jessup where you're treated like family. Don't miss the spring Black Friday sale and Husqvarna days going on now. Las Vegas! Vegas! Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick is giving away a two-night stay in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. To everyone who purchases a new Chevy or Buick in the month of April, must be 21 or older. This is not a drawing. Everyone Everyone who buys a new ride stays in Vegas two nights on us. It's Vegas, baby. Bet on it. Find new roads courtesy of Walker Jones Chevy Buick, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevrolet.com. WIFOFM, Big Dog Country, uh, Braves baseball headed this way your weekend. This headed your way this weekend here on FM 105.5. Back in action again tonight. Let's get the uh, Braves morning update. Now it's time for your Atlanta Braves morning update. Braves fall short in the rubber game in Cincinnati. I'm Ben Ingram, and your Atlanta Braves radio network update is coming up. Enjoy all the perks SunTrust Park has to offer by becoming a Braves A-list member. Learn more at Braves.com/a-list. Last night from Great American Ballpark, Braves and Reds tangled for the final time of a three-game series, and after splitting the first two, last night's ball game would determine the series winner. It was Luis Castillo versus Julio Tehran, and early on the Reds had the lead. The Braves are down 3-0 going into the latter innings of the contest. And in the seventh inning, that's when the rain delay came. And we waited and waited and waited. Altogether, a two-hour, 42-minute rain delay. But when the teams came back onto the field, the Braves got right back in it with this at-bat from Freddie Freeman. Ripped deep to center field on his horse's Shevler over his head, back toward the wall, and gone! Freddie Freeman with a two-run home run. That made it a 3-2 contest in Freeman's third home run of the season. Unfortunately, the Reds picked one of those runs back in the bottom of the eighth inning, and the Braves could do nothing in the ninth, and the Reds won the contest by a final score of 4-2 to take the game and the series. Braves right back at it tonight and back at home to start up a seven-game homestand. Max Freed on the mound for the Braves. The lefty is 3-0 this season, and he takes on righty Antonio Cinzatella. First pitch at 7-20 Eastern, 6-20 Ingram. And this has been your Atlanta Braves Radio Network update. WIFO FM Big Dog Country at 753. Let's check.